The Lagos State Government says the recent salary increment announced by the Governor is not for political reasons. Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Benga Motosho, stated this during a chat with Government House correspondents at his office in Olaosa, Ikeja. The Commissioner explained that the Governor simply appreciated the quality of service provided by the workers despite current economic conditions. The fact that it was time for us to raise the salaries of uh, civil servants so that uh, one would not wait for them to start uh, complaining and grumbling and threatening to go on strike before doing that. So he said, we are doing this because this is Lagos, because we are Lagos. So that shows that uh, Lagos is making progress. If uh, all other people are saying that uh, there is a kind of a downcast and that uh, they are not uh, feeling fine over what is going on economically all over the world. And he is saying that our people should be excited, they should be joyous, because the government is going to put more money in their pockets. And I think there is no way you put more money in the pockets of civil servants if you not uh, have uh, effects on uh, people who are offering goods and services in town and then the general economy of Lagos itself. So I feel that uh, considering uh, the welfare of our people, the welfare of our workers. While reacting to allegations by PDP candidate Olajide Adedimo regarding non-payment of pensioners in Lagos, the commissioner explained that Governor Samuel has done enough to earn a second term. Everybody knows that Lagos is the only state that is not owing pensioners. Up to date, Lagos is paying pensioners every month. The backlog that uh, we have a long backlog. When Mr. Baideson Olu came in, he promised to clear the backlog, and every month he's been clearing the backlog. And I think about one point something billion is allocated to that uh, backlog every month, and we have cleared it up to 2021. It wasn't there. Uh, it's not as if uh, the backlog came when Mr. Baideson Olu became a governor. No, it's been there since, and uh, he's. Uh, clearing the backlog, and he has cleared the backlog up to 2021, and pensioners are happy with him. Any time that he has an opportunity to have a meeting with pensioners, you see the excitement on their faces, you see the joy that comes from them, that inner joy that uh, makes you feel that you've not been neglected. You see that on the faces of our pensioners. So I do not feel that uh, for political convenience, uh, anybody, no matter how excited, no matter how easily excitable, she'll come up and say that uh, Lagos is owing a pensioner.